Spectrum includes the Accounts Payable Cash Requirements Report to assist customers with determining their future cash needs. This report can be generated based on either the payment due date or the discount due dates for AP invoices. You can also choose to include or exclude AP invoices that are on payment hold as well, depending on your preferences. To generate the cash requirements report, let's navigate to Accounts Payable, Reports, and Cash Requirements. As you can see, there are several different ways that we can choose to generate this report based on the report settings that we want to use. Let's take a moment to review each of these settings. Starting at the top, under the Selections area, this is where we can select what vendor types and jobs that we want to generate this report for, or we can simply leave the default settings to include all vendor types and jobs. By default, Spectrum will default the dates for this report to be one, two, and three weeks out from the AP invoice dates. However, you can also override these dates filling in the dates that you want displayed on the report instead. If your company has a cost center set up, you can also choose to narrow down this report by cost group, or you can leave it at all cost groups. Moving down to the report type area, select whether you want to see this report displayed by payment due date, or the discount eligible date. Underneath of hold status, we can check or uncheck boxes accordingly to include or exclude any held or non-held items. Under the pay when paid status, this is where we can select or deselect that we want to include items which are flagged for pay when paid or include only non-pay when paid items. Under the approval status area, this is where we can choose to view open items only, unapproved invoices only, or both open and unapproved invoices. On the right hand side of this window, this is where we can make our sorting and formatting selections. For instance, we can say that we want this report sorted by vendor or sorted by job. And then under formatting, we can choose a detailed format, detailed with remarks, or a summary format. Once you've made your selections, click on preview at the top left hand side of your screen to view the cash requirements report. This has opened a separate window where we can review this report. From here, you can email, download, archive, print, or simply view the report on your screen. Once you are done reviewing this report, simply close out at the top and close out the preview window, and you're all done.